Hello everyone, this is Chirag from Journeyfy Overseas and in this video I'm going to explain you what is the difference between IELTS Academic and IELTS General Examination. But if this is your first time to our channel, please subscribe to our channel for more informative videos related to IELTS Examination, Canada PR and Overseas Education. IELTS as the name says it's an international English language testing system which assesses your English skills. And there are two kinds of IELTS examination, IELTS Academic and IELTS General. Now as the name says, IELTS Academic examination is for those students who want to go abroad for higher education purpose. And IELTS General is for those who want to go abroad for employment, PR or for any other purpose other than education. So that is the main difference between IELTS Academic and IELTS General examination. Let us understand what is the difference in the examination format for IELTS Academic and IELTS General. Since IELTS assesses all the four skills of English that is listening, speaking, reading and writing, so there is separate examination for all the four skills, out of which listening and speaking examination is exactly same for both IELTS Academic and IELTS General, whereas there is difference in the examination format of IELTS reading and IELTS writing. Let us understand what exactly is the difference in these two examination format. In case of IELTS reading, there are three passages and there are total 40 questions based on these three passages. But in case of IELTS Academic, these three passages are very long passages based on any of the academic or educational subject like history, geography, science, political science or any other academic subject. And these passages can be from a book, a journal or a research paper or any other academic literature. Whereas in case of IELTS general reading, even there are three passages, but these three passages are not as long as in academic uh, they could be short passages or few points based on any of the general situation or any of the day-to-day -day situations like a newspaper article uh, or a newspaper advertisement or a magazine article or an office situation or a case study or any general situation that we come across in our day-to-day -day life total there are 40 questions in both the cases that is IELTS academics and IELTS general and you get 60 minutes to answer those 40 questions. Next is IELTS writing examination. In writing examination there are two tasks, task 1 and task 2. Whereas task 2 is exactly same for both IELTS academic and IELTS general. There's difference in task 1. In case of IELTS academic writing task 1 there is an image given. The image could be a diagram, a graph, a, par, a pie chart, a bar chart, a flow chart or any other image. And there is a slight description about the given image. You need to understand and analyze the image, you need to understand the description and then describe the image in minimum 150 words in 20 minutes. You need to write minimum 150 words or more than that. Whereas in case of IELTS general writing, you need to write a letter on the given topic. Uh, the letter could be formal, semi-formal or informal and the topic could be on any of the day-to-day -day situation. You need to write the letter of minimum 150 words in 20 minutes. So in both the cases, IELTS Academic and IELTS General, you need to write minimum 150 words within 20 minutes. The difference is, in case of Academic, there is an image which you need to describe and in case of General, you need to write a letter on the given topic. Whereas IELTS Academic writing task 2 is same for both IELTS Academic and IELTS General in which you need to write an essay on the given topic of minimum 250 words within 40 minutes. So that was all the difference between IELTS Academic and IELTS General. So if you're planning to go abroad for education, it could be any kind of education, you need to go for IELTS Academic. And if you're planning to go abroad for any purpose other than education, you need to go for IELTS General Examination. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. In case if this is your first time to our channel, please subscribe to our channel for more informative videos related to IELTS examination, Canada PR and overseas education.